What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just share my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I'm back at it again with a thrifting video, but I'm gonna give myself a little challenge today. If you guys haven't seen, I just got back from a little vacation. I went to Palm Springs, Palm Desert area in California and it was so nice we took our travel trailer for its maiden voyage and it couldn't have gone better so fun um, but i did do a lot of thrifting while i was there i think i have five thrift videos from that trip if you guys want to see in my thrifting playlist uh you guys can totally go check those out it was really fun to thrift while on vacation i feel like different towns just have like different vibes and you know different clothes so I don't need a ton of things. My challenge today is going to be trying to thrift in a very intentional way. So I am limiting myself to three items. That's three clothing items. I also want to look for some housewares. I don't normally thrift a lot of housewares, only like a thing here and there. Um, but there's actually quite a few things on my list that if they have it here, I'm not going to count it towards my three items. I'm looking for like outdoor stuff along with probably everybody else because the weather is starting to be beautiful. Today is 79 degrees. So thankful. But three clothing items is what I'm going for today. Do you guys think that I'll be successful? Do you think I'll fail? <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know myself, you guys. Sometimes I try to like cut down and that's the days that I find everything I want. So knowing, knowing that I'll probably have a bit of a challenge today, uh, but yeah, let's just head on in. I am in Auburn, California and I'm going to check out this Goodwill. Haven't been here in several weeks. So it should be all new, fun, exciting things. Let's go. All right, you guys, my first stop is going to be shoes and bags because shoes and bags are some of my favorite sections to shop. And then I'll probably head over to the dresses because that's my second favorite. I just had the weirdest interaction with someone. <laughs> I was shopping in this section and I was literally just in this section and the girl came up and was like, can I look at right there? And I'm like, I literally had to like move over, like step over to the side so that she could look like literally what I was looking at. Like who raises these people? A little Zara blazer, it's super cute. I have a ton of houndstooth blazers though, and I'm gonna leave it behind, but I love this. All right, you guys, I found quite a lot of things that I'm excited. This location has the dressing rooms open, so I'm gonna try on some of this stuff. And yeah, I'm finding some cute things. This is kind of cute and fun. I have very similar skirts in that like leopard print, so I'm gonna leave it behind. But I also kind of liked this. It's like a knit skirt with like a big side slit. I feel like it'd look cute with like a little white crop top or like a beige bikini top. I don't know, I'll try it on. I've got lots of stuff to try on. Honestly, mostly bottoms so far, which is not normal for me. 
love this skirt. It's like a satiny material. It's beautiful. It's a size XL. I don't know this brand, Scoop. I don't know it, but man, that is so pretty. With like a turquoise bikini top. It's like a, such a soft fabric, you guys. I have met some aggressive shoppers today. <laughs> Someone has gotten rid of their collection of weird little furry creatures. There's that guy. There's this guy. <laughs> and the biggest for last. Check out this guy. <laughs> Very interesting. You never know what you're gonna find here. All right, I'm in the back corner of the store and I'm trying to sort through all the things that are like more favorites and then I and then more of like maybes or probably putbacks. And then I'm gonna try to put all my housewares in one area. Um, I did find this skirt right here, which is a designer skirt. So I will be buying this and sending it to the real real, um, even though I'm not buying it for myself. So I'm not counting this as one of my items. I thought this top was kind of fun. I don't like the bottom half, so I'd actually like crop the whole bottom off and just have it be like this. But I just now saw there's a little snag on it. So I'm gonna put this one back. Sorry. All right, you guys, spent quite a lot of time out there, but here's all the stuff I am trying on, mostly bottoms and I think one bathing suit. Let's see what I end up liking. All right, you guys, this knit skirt does not fit me in a flattering way. It's just too small and I feel like it needs more fabric. Like to me, that looks silly, so this is a no-go. I did end up finding this little knit skirt though. Fits a lot better, but I don't know. I feel like it's not like a must have and there are some more unique things that I'm more excited about. I mean, it's very comfy, like it's soft rib knit, but nah, I don't know. I also found this really fun and funky skirt. Uh, I love the fabric of it. It's almost like a um, like pleated ribbed fabric. Um, and it's super cute and fun and funky. I love the like different print, but it's way too long for me, you guys. I'm on my tippy toes right now and it's still too long. So the only way I could wear this is if I actually had like really tall heels on. Unless I redid the elastic and I just probably won't end up doing that. So no skirts today, which is totally okay. Let's try on some of these cargo looking pants. Next I found these cargo pants right here I love them I don't love the tie at the bottom but I just tied them really fast but I'd probably wear them untied and just loose I don't like how the ankle goes in like that but I kind of like these and then I also decided that I'm gonna put back this sweater I didn't even try it on but I don't know I feel like it just has kind of a, like a lot of wear on it but it's very soft and oversized and comfy and then I am putting back these green velvet Ralph Lauren pants because they were too big on the waist but I don't know I thought they were fun so I hope someone finds these and loves them and then I have all of my pillows and a little houseware that I'll show you when we get home let's go check out huh you guys wow it's getting warm out there it's like one o'clock now it's getting hot um Yes, I found a bunch of cute things. I got three items, I was successful, and they almost tried to do uh, like one of the items as like two separate items, even though it was like a two piece. So luckily she gave it to me as a set, which is how they were tagged. So I don't know, I don't know why they were gonna do that. But anyways, I got my things and I also got some houseware. So I'll show you guys everything when we get home. There were some aggressive shoppers in there today, like, Man, I had that one girl that wanted to shop right where I was shopping, which I thought was just like so weird. Like, I don't know. I just feel like that's common sense that you just like kind of wait until someone's done. I don't, I don't even go in the same row when people are like in the same row. Usually I like skip a row and wait till they're done. But anyways, <laughs> common sense is not so common sometimes. And then 
I was looking at a cute pillow and there was two of them and I like grabbed one of them and I was like looking at it because I like really liked it. And this girl came up and grabbed the other one and then was like, oh, looks like we both have the same pillow. And I was like, I was literally just looking at this pair of pillows and they were right next to each other. And she took the other one, which is fine. Like, I totally get it. I just thought it was weird because if someone else was doing that, I would have never been in like, grabbed the second one at unless they put them back like if the people put them back then i would have gone and then grabbed them and then been like i like these but i wouldn't have like gone right next to her and grabbed the second one so now the pillows are separated which is totally fine i think she lightweight wanted me to give her the one i was looking at like i think that's what she was trying to imply is like oh i have this one like so do you want to give that one up it was weird <laughs> people were i don't know i don't know what it is is it supposed to be a full moon or something i don't know what's going on but i'm glad i'm out of there the workers there are always so sweet. And I have a bunch of donations, so I have to go do that. I'll see you guys later. All right, you guys, we are back from the thrift store and I'm here to do the try on portion to show you guys the three things that I did end up picking up. The first piece is this bathing suit that I currently have on. It is a two piece and it is vintage. So here it is right here. It's decently high waisted, not super cheeky, which is how I like it. And then the top is a tube top. I don't normally love tube tops just because I feel like I'm like somewhat saggy so it doesn't give all that much support um so I'm just feeling kind of like eh about this one I do really like the vintage style it's just like black and has these cute little detailing on the sides of like a little pink and orange situation I just don't know if I'll be constantly adjusting the top here all right, let's put on the next outfit. All right, you guys, here's outfit number two. I ended up picking up two pairs of cargo pants. I think I showed you guys one, but this is a pair I'm pretty sure I didn't show you. I found these in the little boys section. You guys know I love shopping in the kids because it's affordable and they have some cute stuff sometimes. Actually, for the top, I got this in the little kids section when I was in Palm Springs. I found this cute little like Old Navy polo. I know all the like little polos have been really in and it just says have a nice day, which I thought was so adorable. Then for the bottoms, I have these cargo pants right here. I will say that they are a little bit short as far as where the crop goes, like on the ankle. I'm 5'2", so I feel like I can kind of get away with it because I kind of like that almost like slightly floods look on some pants especially when i want to show off my shoes so i do have my little thrifted converse all stars these are the ones that go up a little higher on the ankle so i feel like they fit with the like pants being a little bit shorter i love all of the pants with all the like cargo accessories i was actually inspired to do this outfit from pinterest i wouldn't have thought myself to put a polo on with cargos usually i'll do like a bodysuit or a more like a different top you know um, but I saw this image and I thought it was really cute with the polo and the cargos and then like some sneaks so yeah that's how I just decided to style up these little guys for seven bucks there's the little back butt pockets I love the little square velcro -y tabs all right let's go style up the second pair of cargos you guys know I've been getting into some little like sassy outfits lately. I don't know what it's been, probably the weather and just like summertime. You guys know I love summertime and we're getting closer and closer to like normal life again. So this is a much more sassy outfit. Sorry, I'm bending over. Ugh. All right, so here's the outfit right here. It is these cargo pants. I think I showed you these when I was in the dressing room and these are a little out of my comfort zone because they are low-waisted. They also tie at the ankle, which I actually kind of like. I thought I didn't like them tied up. And you can wear them loose and baggy, which I probably will wear them that way as well. But I thought with this outfit, it looked cuter like tied up at the ankle. So that you could see my big chunky shoes. I thrifted these recently, like within the last few months. They're just Forever 21. And then here are the pants right here. Like I said, they just have this really fun like drawstring waistline, which I also really appreciate because I can cinch it as tight as I want or if I wanna wear them a little baggier, I can do that too. It would look cute to wear them baggy and then wear like one of those underwear that have like the bigger, kind of like the Calvin Klein or whatever when they have like the little saying on the elastic band, that would be really cute. Um, but yeah, they just have like all these little pockets on the side, on the back. I also wanted to pair it with a ton of gold jewelry. So I have on like a bunch of gold hoops and earrings 
and then a gold necklace and a little belly chain mark my words you guys belly chains are going to be really big this summer i'm into them i love them i'm glad that they're making a comeback this is actually just two necklaces like wrapped together because the belly chain that i have from last year is too big for me so it can't actually like it just like hangs really low but i think it would look cute with a chain belt too you know but i'm into the belly chains and then for the top, I obviously just have on this cute little like baby tee crop top shirt right here. I actually recently got this in an upcoming vlog that you guys will end up seeing. So I thrifted that for just like a few bucks. So this whole outfit is thrifted except for the jewelry. As far as everything else, I did get a laundry hamper that day. I'm not going to show you guys it because all my dirty laundry is in it and it looks bad. And then I got some pillows for my outside area in the back deck. You guys have seen that in some of my other try on videos. Um, I got a bunch of the black and white pillows. Um, I'll put a little picture right here of what my back patio area looks like if you guys haven't seen it. But yeah. I have thrifted all of those pillows within the last like month or so. So it's been really good and fun to like decorate the outside little patio area where we just kind of like lounge. I read back there, I'll drink my coffee, just kind of like relax in the backyard. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys ended up liking it. I can't believe that I got out of there with only three items of clothing for myself. I did pick up that skirt for the real real. But yeah, I think that's it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys are doing great, and I will see you very soon in some of my next videos. Bye!